Welcome to Food Talk with Sharon. Today's recipe is an Easter special from Kerala. We are making vatte appam or steamed rice cakes. It's an easy one to make, so do make sure you try it out at home. But before we move on to the recipe, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and please do click that tiny bell icon and turn on all notifications. The batter for vatte appam is ground in a mixi and then it is kept for fermentation for 2 to 3 hours. So let's see how to make the batter. For making the vatte appam, the first step is to soak some poha. So you can use warm water to soak this. You can also use cooked rice instead of the soaked poha. Into the mixi jar, add some grated coconut and along with this, let's add the soaked poha. We need to grind this first. You can add in a little water so that it grinds well. We are using lukewarm water for this recipe. Into this goes in some rice flour and along with this some yeast. Add some more water to this. I am using lukewarm water here because we have used yeast and that slight warmth will help the batter rise. This again needs to be ground into a thick batter. To this, let's add some sugar, cardamom powder and a pinch of salt. We again need to grind this. So once you add sugar and grind, the batter will loosen a little. So make sure you don't add in a lot of water initially. So let's pour the batter into a bowl and now this needs to rest for about 2 to 3 hours in a warm place. So we have added yeast so it will rise so the batter will really froth up but you have to make sure that it doesn't turn sour. So this is a sweet appam or a sweet steamed rice cake so it shouldn't turn sour. I've lined a 6 inch tin here with coconut oil. And into this, let's pour the top part or the frothy part of the batter. So we're just going to pour about 3 fourth to an inch of batter because we don't want the vatte palms to be very thick. For steaming the vatte palms, I'm using a kadai which has a lid which fits well in this. You can use a pressure cooker without the pressure or if you have a steamer, you can use that. Now into this, I've placed a stand and then we're going to pour some water. Let the water heat up and then we'll place our dish with the water pump batter into this and cover it loosely with another lid and then cover the kadai. Vatayapam has to be steamed on high flame for about 10 minutes and then on low flame for about 15 to 20 minutes. So once done, if you insert a skewer or a thin knife into this, it will come out clean. The vatayapams have steamed and are ready, but do make sure you let it cool down completely before you unmold it and cut it and serve it. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe.